In this video, I'm going to demo this large induction heater that I made. I put the final touches on it, finishing touches, so that it would be more operational. I've got a large variac, which is 3 kilowatts, and a um, big capacitor bank. Uh, DC uh, caps here to smooth out the rectified AC. This has the ability to also do a voltage doubler. Um, I grounded the control circuitry, which was one of the major changes that I made. The control circuitry is here with a 555 chip. I put in a current meter, and um, there's my ferrite coupling transformer with 22 turns on it. And uh, there's six turns on this, two and a half inches in diameter. And uh, there's a fan beneath this heat sink to cool these IGBTs. These are being run at 24 volts on the gate. Some of them are run at 30 volts, but I figured I'll see if I can get away with 24 volts. I'm using a single gate drive transformer here to run this full bridge. And I think that's about it. I've got a uh, circuit breaker here for 40 amps. And that's wired to the mains. And that's about it, I think, in terms of the unit. And uh, I've got a uh, water fountain pump here to put uh, cold water through the uh, tubing, the plumbing here. Everything's soldered together. Here's plasma inside a graphite cr crucible that's in this induction heater that I'm slowly increasing the power on. See that blue glow around the copper? That's actually plasma. So I'm trying to melt copper here, have a bunch of copper in this crucible. The copper is actually starting to melt right now. It's going pretty fast. My uh, IGBT modules, they're pretty small, I'm hoping they won't blow up. They just seem to be warm, so that's a good sign so far. Here's another piece of copper I just threw in there. Just started to melt. I'm going to stop this. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Got it on the concrete. Really hot. Still. Burnt the concrete as you can see there. Took it off the concrete onto the fire brick. It's just so hot. Turned off everything. All seems to be pretty cool. Here's a slug of copper after it's been uh, allowed to cool and taken out of the die, so it's a, a quarter of a pound, probably something like that, of copper here. So that thing works real well, and I'm sure you could melt gold or other precious metals with it. Thanks for watching, um, and please check back uh, at this channel for more videos.